Hello everybody, we got uh, Luke here. I'm back with another uh, video here. So, um, so obviously you found my video, you're into 3D printing and you wanna find out how to make money. So I'm seeing the comments often on these Facebook groups, uh, 3D printing groups online is, oh, how do I make money? How is everybody making money? Why do you need all these printers? Um, I started printing a year ago with no prior experience on how these worked. Uh, I got myself one printer uh, for 200 bucks at Ender 3, and I got Tinkercad. It was free. It's software for elementary school kids, so I was able to figure that out. And let me tell you how in one year, I am went from one printer, I'm now up to six. I'm just getting my sixth one right now. And uh, in part time, with only uh, a couple days and week uh, over the weekend that I print, uh, how I've made uh, ten thousand uh, dollars, and going into uh, 2022 here, I'll be in line to kind of double that, or, or who knows what will happen mid year um, with that, uh, and how much I can make. So let me kind of talk about uh, talk about um, this in general here. So um, where do we make money? So we're going to talk about, um, you know, um, privately, you know, the people you know, what they're looking for or they don't know what they're looking for that you can make. Uh, we're going to talk about the online places, eBay, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, and I'm sure there's a lot others. Those are kind of the main uh, popular ones. Uh, yeah, and just kind of, you know, how to find people. And, uh, and as we go, you're kind of going to see, you know, how I find the people to sell things to. Uh, for what I make. So we're going to go flick through an album of, of items I've made, um, how I've come up with the ideas, how I sell them, and uh, let's go. So we're going we're gonna to start here with this first thing. This is I made this a year ago. This is the very first thing I printed. As you can see, my uh, print bed is very clean. This is this was within a week of getting my printer. Um, this is actually a part I made for something that um, you know that I like to do. I like to do home automation. This is a uh, you know something that I made for me to solve a problem that saved me money, saved me times. But there's a lot of other people in the same you know in the same world of home automation that could also save time and money because of this. So that's kind of the first uh, thing here is if you stick to items with topics you're familiar with, you've got a better audience of folks. You can better talk about it. Um, and better sell that. So that is the first big tip is, you know, create things that you, um, you're you already involved with people in the world and know and have expertise in. That's going to be the biggest help uh, for this. So I made this part. It took me a long time, many tries, many uh, prints and different shapes. I bought myself a, a micrometer online that was uh, that was very important, uh, kind of a slide micrometer there, um, so I can measure the objects I need to fit in here uh, and make my parts bigger to hold those, and uh, so you've got to have that. Uh, so I've made this part. Uh, it saved me uh, $20 for having to buy another part, and this is obviously a couple sets of plastic. Uh, made some moving parts here, um, and basically, um, like I said, this saved me $20 and another part and also saved me labor. I print this, I put a uh, home automation sensor into it and stick it <laughs> with sticky tape to my door. It's a tilt sensor. Um, that's what it was. I uh, These are kind of people I, uh, I associate with daily that use these things. So, um, hey, I've got a market. I, I can uh, explain how this, you know, couple dollar part can save them uh, $20, can save them, you know, 30 minutes or an hour in time. And, and hey, there you sell something. That's my very first part. I do not go off to sell these a bunch. It's just kind of, you know, a, a couple friends that I, I've gone to with this. I mean, it's my very first part I ever made. It's not that um detailed and great it was a very simple print but hey that's kind of a way to get into it uh, moving on next thing here i got into right after that was keychains um i played drums in a band 
something that I know about. I have a lot of musician friends. So I started selling keychains to bands. These are for my band, 90s Entertainment System uh, was the name of our band, a 90s rock tribute band. So we made keychains. I had a friend as a car club. Uh, we made him some um, keychains. Uh, these ones are painted. Um, I then went on to do two color prints with these. But keychains are very easy. These can be sold great for marketplace. If you get unique um, keychains, uh, Facebook Marketplace, Etsy is a great spot for those. Uh, eBay, eBay um, is kind of great for um, parts and pieces for things. Um, uh, probably best for these to be sold, Facebook Marketplace and Etsy. Um, so I made a lot of keychains. I made uh, for others bands, made them shaped like microphones and guitars. Uh, so I did a great bit of sales on these, um, not through you know Facebook and Etsy, but these were kind of direct to people I knew. Uh, I also advertised on my uh, my website that I made these, and folks could reach out to me. So I've done multiple multiple keychains and multiple orders for folks of these. Uh, started getting into fancier keychains. This is totally my design. I made a chicken wing keychain, a third passion of mine other than home automation, uh, music, uh, is food, chicken wings. Uh, so I made these 3D printed uh, keychains uh, of my design. Um, so that's what they are. Um, I then kind of moved on. I, I was thinking, you know, what, what is something that has a practical use other than like a keychain? Really, it's a keychain just for show. So what, what can actually be used? Business card holders. I made uh, some uh, unique business card holders that look like um, realtor sales signs. Uh, I created these. And it wasn't a genre that I'm involved in. I'm not a realtor. I, I, I know a couple. Uh, so I made these. Um, this would be great for like an Etsy kind of, of shop um, for sales. Um, the Etsy kind of shop is uh, crafty things uh, for gifts, which are kind of great. I've sold a few of these. Um, not a whole lot, again, because it's not a world that I'm, uh, I'm wrapped up in uh, and linked to. But um, this was an idea I made. You'll see that I'm showing this because this kind of spawns off to a couple other things here uh, on my next pictures. Uh, made one of those realtor signs. You get great feedback for them and the word of mouth spreads. So here's an example. I made one for somebody. I made their logo on it and that just spreads to coworkers. So this is kind of the word of mouth uh, marketing to get more sales. So that's why I show this picture. That same realtor sign has kind of turned into something else. I, uh, I tweaked it and edited it and made a business card holder for a, a friend that's in the drilling industry, uh, an industry I know nothing about, but <laughs> hey, I took that same design, tweaked it, made look a, a drill bit coming up through the dirt. Um, this here went to a trade show and has generated uh, referrals that has got um, these made, which, you know, I made uh, these three with the design I already had it made. I tweaked it a little bit, new logo. This has kind of turned into uh, $100 here for a couple printed pieces. So um, referrals is kind of the start of things. I, I was not on um, eBay and Etsy and, and Facebook selling at this point here. I was just getting started out. Um, but that's kind of a, a, a niche I got into. Uh, it was these business card holders. Um, and actually, still to this day, I've, I have got a couple of unique business card holders that sell very well. Um, the next kind of thing, so you'll see the, uh, a few photos uh, through without here. Uh, but whatever those hot items are or at the time, or those hot shows, whatever the hot um, trending topics are, movies uh, and things, uh, TikTok trends, what are the trends? What's everybody talking about? Um, making items within those trends. You've got to make them quick um, and start selling. They can sell very well, but you know, just be warned that, hey, this trend is going to end soon and nobody's going to care, nobody's going to buy. Um, so I made some uh, Cobra Kai. It was a great movie series. I made some... Um, dojo badges and uh you know and plates and magnets um i did multi-colors on them colored them in um they were great for a period of time but are almost irrelevant now 
Uh, so creating your own um, things off of trends and selling. These things are great for Etsy, Facebook Marketplaces. Facebook Marketplace, you know, a lot of younger crowd on there in the marketplace. Um, and middle-aged crowds, so fun items like this, unique, are great for Facebook Marketplace sales. And, uh, and Etsy, eBay, you may get a couple, but uh, we'll talk about what's great for eBay uh, a little further along here. All right, this this item here, this was a, a, a period of my 3D printing life in the past year that, that came and went quick. Uh, I'll explain the other um, ups and downs of, uh, of what we're going to talk about here. Um, Milwaukee Packout Toolboxes. I'm into Milwaukee Tools, Power Tools, the toolboxes, the organization. You know, just as my wife is into uh, these designer purses, <laughs> I'm into toolboxes and, and putting my tools in those. And uh, uh, a year ago, I was like, man, it could really be cool if you had some extension cord holders and some other uh, utility items for these toolboxes. And I started making things. Um, very quickly, I noticed others were too. <laughs> um, I was selling a set of these brackets here for holding an extension cord for twenty dollars, about seventeen to twenty dollars a piece, and um, I sold a lot of them very fast, very very fast. They were selling. Uh, Facebook Marketplace was the primary spot I was selling them. They probably would have worked great on eBay. I did not do eBay at the time. Um, probably not as good for Etsy. Not kind of an Etsy kind of. Uh, Thing. I mean, they would sell some there, but uh, these platforms have their unique uh, places. So I did these. I sold a lot. Um, I created those uh, more designs. I would get requests from somebody. If they're requesting they want something unique, maybe somebody else does too. So I kind of went down this rabbit hole of trying to please everybody, uh, customizing pieces to this. I made tool holders. I was selling all of this stuff, and what I realized is so quickly that um, so did everybody else. <laughs> everybody else with a 3D printer, too, that was also into these toolboxes. They, you know, copied my items. They, uh, you know, created their own. They did something unique on their own to better their item, and it was just a complete competition um, of features going up. Uh, the price is going down. I went from selling my items from um, 20 bucks, as I said, 17, 20 bucks for certain items, and they just quickly slid down to seven dollars to a point it wasn't worth it. Uh, seven dollars wasn't worth it. So from that seven dollars, you take out your seller's fees. You've got to take out your cost of your materials and time to make it. I was putting hardware on mine. One of my unique thing was is they had set screws. Um, I took um, so you can see over here in the picture there's some hardware. I'd purchased the hardware. Um, you take out your shipping labels. I invested in a, a label printer. You take out your uh, cost of your your padded envelopes that you purchased to ship this in, and you you aren't left with much is it really worth it at that point your time to stent, take this stuff to the post office or wherever you ship that um, it wasn't worth it for me it wasn't um, I wasn't selling enough um, to really make it worthwhile and this is kind of my my thing is stay away from markets that are flooded already do your research look for items that are um, um, that aren't out there that that you're solving something for and it's in your in your realm of, uh, of things you like and that you're a special you specialize in um, th this one here uh, another pack out accessory that I got into at the time so uh, it w like I said it got into a big competition to who had better things and neater things and new parts so I kept inventing new things uh, this was a multi-part included hardware um, I made this with uh, PETG materials now um, as a, a specialized pipe holder or, or pipe spooling thing, uh, wire spooling rack. Um, these items, this was the last item I made for pack outs. Um, I sold these for about $45 a set. You got what you see here. I sold two of those. Um, it, it was crazy. I sold a few to a couple specialized people. And uh, actually, I shut down my um, my sales on this pack out stuff shortly after, just because it was just a fight to the bottom price, and I didn't. I was done. Uh, but it was funny. I, I shut down everything and 
killed all traces of on Facebook Marketplace and where I sold these. And um, I had folks that hunt me down to find these, and they, a couple of folks did. So I did sell the, the STL file a little later, and I sold the um, the remaining what I had uh, in my inventory. And I've actually taken, I think, my next picture here, um, this picture. So I've had, I had boxes. I would fill these boxes with these parts. I had them labeled. We would ship them out. My wife would be able to, I'd sell it when I was out for work for the week. And she, I was, I print out a label remotely. She would put the labels on the packages and ship them out. Um, when I shut this down, we actually took a box of all the leftover parts that I've just had it with. <laughs> And I've uh, I sold a whole box full of all my remaining inventory. I was done. I got burnt out, man. This was um, this was a niche that um, it wasn't worth fighting for. I, I realized that quick and got out. Uh, so don't try to go down that that rabbit hole of copying what others do. You want to be unique. That's what's going to sell your unique items um, that solve uh, some kind of a new issue or or something like that. This is um, this is something that quickly got burned out. I mean, it's there's other folks still fighting this battle. Uh, good luck. <laughs> Uh, moving on, so here's another thing. Uh, I guess I'm into home automation, uh, electronics, uh, smart home stuff. I, I um, you know, I'm just solving another problem. I made some brackets that can hold some of these, you know, these circuit boards and relays. And uh, I know the folks that would buy them. Uh, I ended up making a lot of brackets that would then mount in other enclosures. So electronics holders. Uh, um, you know, if there's some kind of part out there um, that folks use, making it easier to work with, uh, designing something for that, and that's what I did here. Um, here's a picture, here's a box of these I was shipping out to somebody. So there's probably like 15, 20 here. And I've actually sold uh, multiple boxes full to, to folks of these brackets. I, I sell these for $3 a piece. I mean, I just hit print and they go. There's four or five of them on the bed at a time. and um, so yeah, you, you, you pretty much pull off 15 bucks, you know, after a few hours off that printer and, uh, ship them out. I mean, this, this was a very unique, um, you know, kind of design. Nobody else has it. It, it serves a certain, certain purpose and there's folks that buy them. Uh, these are kind of things that are great to sell on, uh, like eBay. eBay is great for kind of custom items for certain things. Um, folks kind of go to eBay to look for um, unique parts, repair parts. Um, that's great for eBay. Um, so if you're into 3D printing and you're in the forums on Facebook, you've kind of got to know there's a couple categories of folks. There's the folks that do their cosplay, masks, and uh, armor. You've got your, your guys that make the figurines. You've got your, your guys out there who do car parts. <laughs> so, I mean, man, I see some of these car part guys doing well, making unique stuff. Um, I'm up printing PETG myself and ABS, so I'm like, oh, maybe I'll build something. I, I attempted to make a... a um, a console or a little coin and pen holder for my wife's car because she bought it brand new and it doesn't come with one. Um, what I quickly realized is it's another flooded market depending on the parts you make. Um, these, I, I first got, we got a 2021 car a year ago and I'm like, man, I'm going to make this coin holder. We're going to sell these. This would be great. Everybody else probably needs this too. And by the time I made this and started selling it, uh, there was so many other people that made professional injection molded ones and were selling these online. Um, I made this one and that was it. I didn't sell them from there because uh, it was just kind of, you know, it was, uh, wasn't meant to be. So be careful. Be careful before you go and print a lot of things <laughs> before you sell. I always like to test the market with what I've got. Um, and really make sure it's a winner now before I start mass producing things. What's next? All right, how to come up with ideas. So uh, viral things, um, popular things, um, trending things, trending um, movies, uh, TV series, uh, trending topics on uh, TikTok and, and Facebook and Google. Um, so this is uh, obviously Shit's Creek. This was earlier in, in the year. I... Uh, it was a very popular show. I made a, a couple magnets and little desktop items that were, they sold. They did. They sold great. 
but for a short period of time. Uh, keep that in mind. You got to be quick to the market with these things. They have to be unique. Um, I mean, I made desk, desk standing little um, Schitt's Creek figurines like this, the little hotel. Um, I made magnets on the back. I got a spool of magnet um, tape from um, online on Amazon and uh, stuck to the back. I sold these. Um, they um, they don't sell anymore. <laughs> so there's one way to make some money, a little bit. Um, probably going forward, I'm going to stick to the things that I can sell year round um, instead of those. I mean, I may do a couple viral things depending on what it is, but. Uh, um, so keep that in mind, you know, you're, if you start selling, uh, you know, you create something that's trending, um, don't go quit your job because <laughs> you're going to want to need a job in, in a couple months when that trend ends. So keep that in mind. Uh, there's one of these, um, I did them as magnets, little desk standing things. Here's another Schitt's Creek item. Uh, another thing to bring up here is um, this is sitting in, I, I bought a little $20 photo booth. Um, so I, invest, I finally invested in a photo booth. So when I'm placing items on, on, on these sites for sale, they need to look good. I mean, they really need to look good. Um, and obviously this one could still use some touch up and cropping and everything, but I bought a photo booth that's lighted. My pictures look good now. That makes a big difference. I, I want to sell items that the pictures look like crap and they didn't sell. As soon as I got this photo booth and retook the pictures, they sold great. <laughs> so I, that does make a difference. You know, invest in a, a little photo booth for things. I did not create this design, but I wanted to bring it up here and mention it. There's a, there's a few of these. These, um, if I didn't have a 3D printer, I probably would have bought this from somebody else. Great ideas, uh, organizers, um, you know, accessories for the you hold your glasses and your your, your items. Um, all kinds of accessories for for things that people already have they buy it man they they love this stuff uh, this is a great idea i wish i knew who the design it was i got online um but uh things like this i have a couple ideas of my own to recreate my own glasses holders and i'm sure they would sell this is something that could be sold year round as a gift so a great item i just wanted to show this and point it out uh and props to whoever designed this great great design great item um, so this, this I, I did recently here. I, I don't sell these currently, but I could. <laughs> um, these, these would be great for a site like Etsy. What I want to bring is up, this is a very Etsy-ish kind of item. Custom make these with your own slogans, uh, little plant signs. Um, I've got one unique um, one that, uh, that I've made with a unique sign uh, that nobody else has, and it, and it may hit Etsy soon, um, but just an idea. Um, of a great Etsy-ish kind of item, great for gifts, very custom. Um, you can even sell um, these with folks custom messages. They can give you the message to put on there. Uh, a great item, again, a year-round thing. You probably notice more sales at Christmas. <laughs> I am noticing this first year on uh, Etsy for me at Christmas time is insane. <laughs> so having gifts and having those ready to go um, is a great idea to make money. Um, another thing that I'm into, so we, we talked about how I was in the music, how I was into this smart home electronics stuff. Um, another thing I'm into is grilling and, uh, there's large communities of grill people out there that, you know, each specific brand of grills out there has, um, these Facebook groups, join the groups of what you're interested into and, um, Share the things that you create. Do not force the things you create on those folks. You'll get yourself banned or uh, they'll ignore you, um, which I've learned. You can't just go, hey, buy this from me. Here's the listing. Uh, these groups are meant for, uh, you know, not usually meant for that. And in some cases, you're not allowed to sell things on these groups. But, hey, look what I made for my <laughs> grill with my 3D printer. What you're gonna find quickly, um, out quickly is folks will respond, hey, that's awesome, I want one, can I buy one from you? Private message and do the sales you know, behind the scenes uh, is a great way to start and finding out if there's interest, to find out um, if folks will buy these, if your pricing is good, um, then kind of take these and roll them out to all those sales platforms. 
So I made myself a cord wrap for my grill. It didn't come with one. I solved a problem. Others had the same problem. Hey, that's a great thing to sell. Um, if you go over to Etsy, you'll see, I don't sell these currently. This was kind of mine and a couple buddies, but um, you'll go see there's all kinds of accessories for just every kind of grill out there. Those are great items to make. They'll sell, you know, pretty consistently throughout the year um, for you. So kind of great items you can, you can mass produce. Once you know they sell, mass produce them, kind of uh, put them in a box and just sell them throughout the year. Um, this is another uh, kind of a, a good thing um, you can get into. Um, not really um, a genre that I, I spend a lot of time in. I'm, I, I'm a musician. I play drums. I don't play guitar. But I did get a great deal on a guitar amp that was broken. Um, it was missing logos. It was missing some corner pieces. Uh, I bought this. I 3D printed the logos for it um, myself. You could get into kind of reproducing logos for for items. You can get into um, you know parts for um, guitar amplifiers. I mean, whatever you're into. This was a unique project for me uh, that I know can make money if I pursued it further. It, it made me money in buying a broken amp and putting these items on it. I make can now sell this and make money. That's how I made money on this. But there's multiple revenue streams here involved. There's the finished product. I got the logo on it. I've got these 3D printed corner pieces on it um, that we're missing. So, uh, great little project uh, for me, but multiple rev revenue streams could be um, could be come out of this. So, um, that's a good one. This one here is something I don't sell, um, but I want to explain. Um, I bought a sander at Home Depot. Uh, and I got home and realized I bought one that was missing a piece and a nut. <laughs> and I got home and I'm like, crap, I do not want to drive 15 minutes back to Home Depot, 15 minutes back home, deal with customer service. <laughs> Within that time, I could create a new piece. I got my micrometer out, you know, and measured this up. They're very easy to recreate. You know, the, and I fixed this one thing. So what does it have to do about making money? <laughs> I, I've seen other folks that would would sell like something like this, like a part that on a common item that would break often. There's a guy, and I, and, uh, I was watching his video recently. You know, he's got a, a neat little 3D print uh, farm he's working on. He said he made ten thousand dollars this year by selling some parts. They were replacement parts for things that break often in kitty litter boxes. Shout out! I don't know your <laughs> your your YouTube channel, but. Um, this is kind of uh, reminds me of that. This is something that, um, hey, this part breaks often, and he sells replacements, and he did a great job of selling parts to something that breaks often. Uh, and it was like a kitty litter box. It was something that basic, and he makes a lot of money on it. Um, after buying the sander, I, I just kind of smacked myself in the head. I'm like, dude, I could have just printed that whole thing myself. You know, so get creative and, um, you know, either... Um, you know, making replacement parts on things. Um, you know, stay away from branding those because that's those brand names are usually uh, you're you're not allowed to take. But uh, you know, making replacement parts for those common items or upgrades um, or um, you know upgrades to those um, daily everyday household items are huge. So that's all I'm kind of pointing out with this picture. But this was a five minute. Uh, design and uh, you know 30 minute print maybe that um, you know that saved me a trip to Home Depot um, just did this here recently got a fence installed and then 3d printed some little housing boxes for um, my wireless sensors for home automation uh, that's what that is you know that if you make that specialized enclosure for a specific application others are going to have that application they're going to buy it uh, a great ebay type item not a great facebook marketplace you usually don't have somebody specifically seeking that stuff out on facebook um, not a great etsy item either so this is kind of your your ebay realm of, of selling here um, I think this might be the last photo here in, in my lineup, but I, I want to mention, so I really didn't go over the, the items I sell specifically to this day. Um, I, I have, we, we kind of skimmed over it. We saw my keychains. I sell something very similar to that 
now that I have is one of my most popular items. It's a keychain, uh, you know, or a magnet, those kind of things. Um, my second thing that is just kind of new that has really taken off for me is uh, I'm making little models of Christmas ornaments, so of models of things. So my, my workbench here, I've got multiple parts that print out, and I make multi-part uh, little miniature models of things. There's my grill, and that's that's currently something I sell that's hot over Christmas time. It'll probably die off um, the rest of the year here for sure, but um, this is um, um, a great thing too. Um, Etsy is great for gifts, items that can be made as gifts. So ornaments, um, you know, models, figurines, um, you know, things with sayings, customized items that you can make to make money. That's that's where I'm doing now. This is just you know, my little workbench here where I, I assemble things after they kind of print. It's a, it's a hot mess, but I just kind of took the picture at one point to show, hey, I'm get, it's getting crazy around here. Uh, I'm selling a lot. So... Um, yeah, so just to kind of summarize everything I went over here. So know your platforms, eBay, um, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace. And if you really got a hit of an item, you can preload Amazon with those items, ship a whole bunch, and Amazon will distribute that. Uh, that can be good and can be bad. I mean, make sure you've got a hit on your hands. Make sure that item is, um, you know, is protected as well. You don't want to send a lot of inventory into Amazon and then, you know, get in legal trouble with your item or find out it can be quickly. Uh, you can be quickly wiped out by somebody with uh, injection molding or or somebody that can do it better and cheaper. So um, keep that in mind. Um, you know, but there's your different sales channel. Know the different. Um, um, you know, kind of categories of things you can you can sell. I mean, the home items, the custom items, the uh, the gift items, which I do very well with. That's that's where I do most of my money. Um, the supplementary money for me is the uh, is the custom um, direct sales to people for uh, electronic board brackets and uh, and, and items. Um, those things uh, do great to fill the gaps for me as well. So custom one-off items to people, and those are marketed to those by word of mouth, Facebook group, and things like that. Uh, so that that's just a quick tour on um, kind of things I make and how I um, made $10,000 my first year 3D printing. It started with one printer. I'm um, waiting on my sixth one and now to be delivered. So um, that's what I do, and... Uh, Hey, thank you for watching.